everybody, this is Praxis. I'm back on site today with River here, and I'm working on getting ready to do the, the floor here, all, all the tile floor, because uh, once the tile floor is in, then the plumber can you know put in the toilet and you know start doing all the stuff that they need to do to finish up here. But before I can work on the tile floor, I want to do anything that needs to interact with the floor, uh, and that is, I think, pretty much, I think, just there's going to be a shallow closet right here. It's going to have a post that comes from here, goes up. It's only going to be maybe eight inches deep, so you're not going to be able to store a ton in there, but it's a little bit of extra storage space. It'll have some shelving in it, and you know, it's otherwise completely useless space. Uh, as I'm going up here, you can see I've got some boards on either side, and I'm leaving this area here open. Uh, I'm going to start putting full boards, starting right around here, but I wanted to leave this area uh, as an open space that uh, will have a hatch. I'm going to put a little hatch over it that will just screw down. And the reason for that is that there are plumbing materials in here. And even if I didn't have such a negative experience with contractors and people screwing things up, I mean, I don't know if this stuff's going to start leaking or whatever. Uh, it's a good idea to plan on things potentially failing because then if they fail, it's not a major problem. Uh, I know a lot of house construction, uh, they would just put a wall over here and if you suspect that you're having a problem and you need to replace any of this stuff, uh, you know, or maybe there's leaks coming through, they just take a saw and they cut through your wall and then they, uh, uh, you know, you have to patch it up later and it's a, kind of a big thing and certainly if you just wanted to look to see if things are uh, performing. You're not going to, you know, take a saw to your wall just to, you know, on a whim kind of look and see how things are going. So it's, I think, a great idea to have access hatches when you're uh, putting things together. Anything that has a joint, anything that could potentially fail, uh, it's great to be able to get at that stuff, even if not to necessarily reach it, just to be able to see it so you could diagnose a problem and see where it is. So, uh, like I said, I'm going to continue from here up is going to be uh, just contiguous boards, but here will be a panel. I'll be able to take it off. It'll be a, bit, a little bit of a pain in the butt. There'll be shelves here. You'll have to take all the shelves out and everything, but it's certainly not as crazy as having it like, you know, just in an exploratory way, cut a hole in your wall and, you know, then have to go through the uh, process of patching it up later. So I'm working on this. Uh, once I get this thing all set, I'm going to be able to start working on the floor. We have tile for the floor. It's these, uh, uh, one by two foot tiles. It's black slate. I have some other older stuff. Uh, I don't really have really great access to it, but I have some one by one tiles that I, I was thinking I might kind of intersperse them with it. Like if I could come up with kind of like a nice pattern where it's like one by twos and one by ones kind of, uh, you know, working together. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not, but, uh, it could be interesting to have kind of a little bit of a mosaic going on. But, uh, in order to cut these things to get them around the toilet and, you know, anywhere else, uh, I need a diamond uh, tip saw. Uh, my dad actually has one of those. He's going to be bringing it, and we're going to install that on one of our saws and be able to, you know, cut and prep these things. One thing that I want to note that I'm going to do that I, you never see professional tile layers do this. At least I've never seen it. Whenever I see a professional tile job done, I'm always like, oh, they, they did it the convenient way. Uh, you know, they usually kind of start back in one corner and kind of work their way out. You don't want to paint yourself into a corner while you're gluing the tiles down. Uh, there's approaching it from that convenient standpoint about like, you know, I'm going to go to the furthest corner and work my way back. But sometimes the furthest corner isn't the most prominent or visual corner. And it's kind of a shame, I think, to have, you know, your most beautiful tile, tile work where you're not cutting anything uh, be the stuff that you, uh, you know, least see. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of determining where I want my full tiles to be and kind of work from that area uh, and, then, and then kind of work myself back towards the door or maybe start at the door and have the full tiles right here and then have the cut tiles around the edges. Uh, if you pre-plan things and know the size of the tiles that you're going to need as you put them in, you know, you can start gluing them down back in the corners and work your way out and, uh, you know, you can have your most presentable tile the stuff that everyone's going to see right in the front instead of having this thing be like, you know, some kind of a weird, you know, they're, they're foot wide tiles and maybe this is like three or four inches left. You know, why have that right in the front when you can have that up against the edges? So I'm going to kind of pre-plan, pre-lay things out so that I can have the nicest tiles right where you see them. First, I got to get this wall in. That's it. Thanks for watching.